Hi, Matt Wicks here. I'd like to talk about a common problem that companies face when dealing with a global audience. How to effectively redirect their users um, from a sort of like a global URL to region specific content. So uh, today we'll be diving into configuring Azure front door for a geo-based redirection. We'll explore setting up and managing routing rules so we can dynamically redirect users based off with what the geographic location is. This is a key strategy for enhancing user experience and delivering targeted content efficiently. Let's get started. So here I'm on the aldi.com website. I can see that there's a world map. Um, I, want to find, I want to go to the Australian content. Um, I can't really see Australia. It's hiding under there. I can't click on it. Oh, if I hover over a country name, um, I'll get a, a country. So I'll find Australia, click on that. Okay, I've got my Australian content. Now that's a bad example of how to do things in, in my opinion. So let's look over to a, a different implementation. So this is apple.com. Um, I can see in the top here to choose another country or region specific to my location. And it's giving me the option of Australia by default. So it knows I'm in Australia and I'm not looking at an Australian site. So this is an okay experience because I may wanna look at stuff that's not in my region. I've, I've requested this. If I do click on continue, I'll be redirected to the Australian website. Um, so it's my choice to be redirected. Uh, another example is coca-cola.com. It loads up straight away and we can see in the address bar, it's uh, appended a slash au slash en. So it's giving me an Australian version. If I were to say, um, connect to a VPN and put myself in France, um, once that connects, I'll go and open a new window and I'll look for coca-cola.com and it reloads and I can see that things are in French. Um, and it's giving me uh, a whole modal about cookies and, uh, and things due to European requirements. That's a good implementation in my opinion, because it's said, hey, you're in France, I'll give you, I'll take you to the French website and I'll give you uh, French content as well. So if I go and to the ssw.com website, and hit enter, I'm gonna be redirected. My VPN is putting me in France, so I'd expect to go to the French website. I can see it's in French as well. We've configured Azure Front Door to do this for us. Now, how, how did we do this? Let's, let's go dive in and take a look. So here we go. I'm on SSW's Azure Front Door instance. It has a lot of domain names hooked up into it. Uh, notably is the SSW.com one. The way it's wired up is you've got uh, domain names in Azure Front Door. Those domain names are associated to origin groups and those origin groups can have rule sets. So this is the rule set for our, you know, our local sites. So these, these will be the region specific contents. So we've got a bunch of rules. Um, they all kind of do the same thing. Let me take you through one and we'll see how it works. So I've expanded China here. This has, we can see here, it's got uh, an if and a then statement. So uh, fairly, fairly straightforward. So if the remote address and we, we do a geomatch operator on it. So what that does is Azure Front Door will take their IP address, do a, a geographic lookup and work out what country they're in. Now, if they are a match to China or Hong Kong, then we will do a URL, URL redirection. So they'll receive a 301 saying, hey, it's been moved and they will go to ssw.cn instead. So that's how it works for China. The same thing is, it works the exact same way for um, our Strasbourg office. So they have ssw.fr. Now they've got a, a slightly different requirement where if the user coming in is in one of four countries that you know the primary language is French, so like Belgium, France, Luxembourg, and Monaco, we want to we want to redirect them to ssw.fr slash fr. So that's going to our French specific content. For all other European countries, we direct them just to ssw.fr and that has some English content on there. Now, the reason that there are five different entries here is that we've identified 42 different countries that we want to redirect to. And as a bit of a gotcha, Azure front door, will only let you select 10 countries at a time. If we add in one too many, uh, we get a, 
an error message there. So a little bit of a gotcha there. So finally we have an for all other countries rule. Now this is like the final else in an if else if uh, statement. Now what this does is it does the equivalent to an if if true, uh, because this rule set is only ever configured on ssw.com and we're checking here that the, if the host name is ssw.com. So that should always be true. Then we do a URL redirect to our Australian websites. We want everyone else to be funneled to Australia for the time being. The reason this is last is that they're fired off in order of top to bottom. So for each of the rules, we do have this setting, stop evaluating remaining rules configured. The, the reason being is if they're in China, we'll send them to the Chinese website and that's the end of front door. Otherwise we want it to fall down here and this be the, the catch all. So this is configurable uh, in the portal as is, or you can use uh, Bicep or Terraform to confer to configure these, which we've done. So there you go. I've shown you um, a solution to a common problem uh, that companies face when dealing with uh, a global audience. Uh, we've configured Azure Front Door for geo-based redirection to redirect users to region-specific content. Thanks for watching.